Chris 6 weather forecast. Good evening and welcome back. Showing you a bunch of storms right now. They're not here in the coastal bend, but things are lighting up in North Texas. Severe thunderstorms, all of these yellow shapes here. These are all severe thunderstorm warnings with a line of storms cruising across North Texas from uh, the southern part of the Panhandle across the Red River, Wichita Falls, just north of Graham and sliding north of the DFW area into Sherman. Yeah, it's a bit messy up there. These storms actually extend out to the big bend of Texas too, where there are more severe thunderstorm warnings where you see all these orange outlines. Those are warnings over the next couple of hours or watches. I should say over the next couple of hours for the potential to see more severe thunderstorm warnings. I don't think this front that is causing all this is going to bring us severe weather, but it will bring beneficial rainfall and it will bring a much needed cool down. So tonight we are dry so far. Showers lingering off our coastline and teasing us. We want some rain. Why isn't it coming here? Well, be patient. We will get our turn later on tonight into the overnight hours and Thursday it looks to bring us a good amount of rain. In fact, all of the green here shows a marginal risk of excessive rainfall. So that means that pretty much all of South Texas has a low end chance of seeing some flooding around the area on a scale of one to four marginal would be like a one for us. So something we're keeping our eyes on because when it rains on Thursday, it's going to pour and it'll come in a couple of rounds for folks. It seems Friday, not really much of a concern. The front pushes through in the morning and any rainfall we get around then will be on the tail end quieting down from then on out. But since we've been dry today, it's been hot. We made it to 93 degrees, feeling like the triple digits. We're going to turn this around and drop at least 10 degrees on the other side of this front. So it's going to be feeling much better this weekend. And I think we'll also probably take care of the rest of this, if not most of this rainfall deficit that we've grown uh, throughout the summer. So Monday about cut in half for us. So we're below the uh, three inch mark, or I should say we're better at 2.83 inches of deficit here as opposed to where we were a couple days ago in the neighborhood of four to five inches below. So good news, even better as we head on into Thursday. Right now it's 89 degrees at CCIA and feeling like 104, 88 in Robstown feeling like 101, 90 in Mathis feels like 107. And for our coastal communities, we're feeling that humidity too. Just about everybody in the triple digits for the feels like temperatures. I don't think anybody's going to miss that this weekend. In fact, the dog walk looks even better heading into Saturday and Sunday, but we've got to get through tonight. So our dog walking star here is fluffy, ready to go. Well, what are we expecting for tonight's dog walk? It's going to be a warm one, still feeling humid as temperatures slowly drop about two degrees between now and into midnight. So not a whole lot of relief, but we'll have a little bit of a breeze 10 to 15 miles per hour to maybe make things feel slightly more comfortable. And as far as when the rain kicks in, those better chances are looking to come after midnight. So uh, that's when our rain chances really pick up for coastal and northern communities such as Corpus Christi and Beeville. Our central and southern zones, your action comes, it looks, afternoon on Thursday towards 3 p.m. But everyone is in the pool on this rainfall, and it's all because of the cold front that will be making its way looks to arrive here Friday morning. So we'll have the showers leading up to it and eventually tapering off once the front does move through. Highest rainfall amount shown here in the dark blues, purples and maroons, anywhere from one to two and a half inches possible. Again, mainly on the immediate coastline. If you are west of 281, you're probably going to see less than an inch, but that's still beneficial rainfall happening in the watershed too. So here's a look at the seven day forecast. We'll go from the 90s to some clouds Friday and Saturday, dropping us to the 80s and eventually the 70s. I don't know, Claudia, this is still pozole weather in my eyes. <laughs> yes, it is. And we had that poll on Instagram and a lot of people say, yes, I should bring it. It's so. a good idea. It was your idea. And now you're going to give all of Corpus Christi pozole at this point. All right. <laughs> I'll have to go get the ingredients.